Good morning, dear friend. Remember, as we look at these beatitudes, as they're called sometimes, remember, they're about things that characterize the kingdom of God that don't characterize the kingdom of the world. And boy, is it ever true in this next one. Verse 8, Matthew 5, Jesus is preaching and he says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. This idea, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Those who have internal sincerity, right? People not striving to be hypocritical. Does that sound like the world? The world is about show. The world is about bling. The world is about what you put out. The world has taken news and turned it from reporting into propaganda. It's about manipulation. It's about putting whatever you want forward to move whatever meter can be moved. It is not about being pure in heart. Listen to Psalm 24, verse 4. The, the text is about who, who can come and worship you, go into your holy hill. And Psalm 24 says, He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to an idol or swear by what is false. That's the kind of life that characterizes the kingdom of God. A pure heart. Blessed are those people. Guess what? They'll, they'll see God in the kingdom. That's not just way down future. That means like now you'll experience the living God in your life because you're, you're, you don't have guile. You don't come multi-layered to God. You don't come to him manipulating. You come authentically. Psalm 51.10, after David sins and he has this psalm of repentance, he says, create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. To create a pure heart within me, O oh God, renew a steadfast spirit. Um, God longs for us to come to him in purity. He longs for us to be without duplicity, to be authentic, to not be layered in that way, but to just have a purity about our lives. Perhaps you need to pray with David, create in me a pure heart. Perhaps you have to assess and ask crucial questions about the layers of your own life. But know this, as you worship and as you engage and as you serve and as you live in God's kingdom, that kingdom is a place of authenticity, a place of genuineness. It is a place where the pure in heart, not the power brokers, not the manipulators, not the connivers, not the people moving for stakeholding positions, just the people who come pure in heart before God are welcome. May the Lord encourage you today.